Is this an early draft of the Mona Lisa? Welcome to my channel Dream USA 24. Joel Feldman asserts that an older replica of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa is presently on display in a Turin exhibition. Feldman serves as general secretary of the Swiss Mona Lisa Foundation, which looks into information pertaining to the piece's provenance and promotes the work, also known as the Isleworth Mona Lisa, on behalf of its private owners. Feldman tells Tom Kington of the London Times, We'd have proven beyond a reasonable doubt that Leonardo painted two Mona Lisas, and this is the only candidate to be the second. The artwork, which the Mona Lisa Foundation also refers to as the earlier Mona Lisa, is currently on display as a part of a brand new show at the Promotrace del Bellardi Museum in Turin called The First Mona Lisa, Feldman said in a statement. With this exhibition, we get to showcase the enormous progress that has been made in the last few years to solidify the attribution of the work to Leonardo. Not everyone is persuaded by these massive strides, though. The Junior Arts Minister of Italy, Vittorio Scarbi, tells the London Times, It's junk, a wind-up. I don't understand why anyone believes it, it doesn't have the soul of Leonardo. The Isleworth painting, so named for the dealer's studio in Isleworth, London, where he purchased it in 1913, is not a perfect replica of the Louvre masterpiece. The subject in both paintings is in the same position, but the Isleworth painting's woman is considerably younger. In addition, two columns surround her, and the background features an incomplete landscape. According to the foundation, Leonardo created this version about 1503 and painted the well-known version ten years later. According to the foundation's story, Leonardo's patron Giuliano de' Medici commissioned the later picture, while the 1503 copy was commissioned by Florentine merchant Francesco del Giocondo, the husband of Lisa Gherardini, the painting's subject. Alastair Sook of BBC Culture wrote on this in 2022. Please share my video thank you. The foundation cites a variety of sources, including a note from a Florentine government official dated 1503, stating that Leonardo was then working on a picture of Lisa del Giocondo. Some, on the other hand, contend that this message alludes to the Parisian Mona Lisa. Jonathan Jones of The Guardian claims that the Mona Lisa Foundation's argument omits something crucial about this source. It is clear that Leonardo's painting of Lisa is incomplete and unlikely to be completed very soon. Experts also point out that the Isleworth portrait is painted on canvas. The general rule is that Leonardo's mature oil paintings, including the Louvre's Mona Lisa, were executed on wood. According to BBC Culture, even if he occasionally painted on canvas, the London Times reports that the foundation also references a 1525 estate inventory made by Leonardo's servant, which lists a Mona Lisa as part of the artist's collection, despite the fact that the original had already been acquired by the French Royal Art Collection eight years before. Another source of controversy is the painting style. Leonardo is renowned for his use of the Fumato method, which creates gradations of color and tone via layering. According to Martin Kemp, a University of Oxford art historian and authority on Leonardo's work, the Isleworth replica does not have the magic Leonardo achieved through his many translucent layers of painting. As reported by the London Times, Leonardo thought that the eye was incapable of providing a scientific representation of an object. It was unable to determine the edge of anything, and as evidenced by the Mona Lisa, his edges are elusive. Artists who imitate him are at a loss for what to do with such a lack of edge. The edges are fuzzy, but not in the same way as in this artwork. According to Alex Diggins of The Telegraph, Philip Mould, an art dealer and authority on the BBC series Fake or Fortune, which verifies artwork, the authentication procedure entails a number of intricate questions. What is the origin of the work? What is revealed by scientific and stylistic analyses? Who is asserting the authenticity of the piece, and do those individuals have any interest in the issue? Authenticity is ultimately a human emotional response, and like all human reactions, it involves subjectivity, according to Mould. It's never as simple as one would think. Please subscribe my channel, thank you.